In any field, there are certain names and projects that everyone knows, even if they're not particularly interested in that field. Take sports, for example. You might not watch basketball, but you probably know who Michael Jordan is. Similarly, in cars, the name Ferrari stands out even to those who aren't car enthusiasts. In the space industry, SpaceX's Starship occupies this kind of universal recognition. It's managed to capture the attention of millions worldwide, many of whom might not follow space news regularly. The anticipation for Starship's third launch is a testament to this widespread interest. Even among avid space followers who track all sorts of missions, Starship has a special place. So, whether you're someone who keeps up with every detail of space exploration or someone who only tunes in for the big events, I have some great news regarding next Starship launch, and it is shaping up to be something you won't want to miss. Before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements, especially regarding the Starship. It's been only four years since SpaceX's first prototype test flight, and we are already discussing the third orbital flight attempt of the Starship. From the initial hops of the Starhopper prototype in 2019 to the upcoming third orbital flight, SpaceX's pace of development has significantly surpassed traditional aerospace projects. This marks the fastest development timeline of any large rocket in history. For comparison, the Saturn V rocket underwent nearly a decade of development before its first test flight. Similarly, NASA's Space Shuttle took about a decade from the start of its development to its orbital launch. Even SpaceX's own Falcon Heavy, which revolutionized the idea of a partially reusable heavy lift vehicle, required about seven years from announcement to orbital flight. Back to Starship, the time between its launches further shows the project's swift development. The time it took between the first and second Starship launches was remarkably short, and now it's been only a few months since the second launch and we are already gearing up for the third flight. If this next launch occurs in three weeks as anticipated, it will mark just a few months between the second and the third launch. This time frame is insanely short, especially considering the complexity and ambition behind the Starship, which is poised to be the world's largest rocket. Musk has recently suggested that the third test flight of the Starship could occur in about three weeks from his recent statement. The recent activities at SpaceX's South Texas Starbase, including the stacking of the Ship 28 upper stage on top of the Booster 10 first stage, demonstrate the company's practical approach to testing and development. These steps are essential for preparing the rocket for its upcoming launch rehearsal and test flight. Preparation for the launch includes a series of tests, starting with the activation of Ship 28 and Booster 10. A pivotal component of these preparations is the wet dress rehearsal. This test simulates the countdown to launch with the rocket fully loaded with propellant, mimicking every stage up to the actual liftoff. The wet dress rehearsal is crucial for verifying the functionality of the rocket systems under launch conditions, identifying any potential issues that require resolution before the final go-ahead can be given. Similarly, the fire suppression system plays a critical role in containing and extinguishing any fires that might arise during the launch process, ensuring the safety of the vehicle and its surroundings. SpaceX aims to complete the wet dress rehearsal soon, with road closures indicating that testing may happen imminently. This rehearsal is a critical step in the launch preparation process, allowing SpaceX to ensure that the rocket and its systems can handle the conditions of an actual launch. It's important to note that Musk's recent timeline is dependent on the successful completion of preparatory tests and obtaining regulatory approvals, including an FAA launch license. The FAA's strict processes have previously posed challenges during both the first and second Starship launches, leading to situations where the space community found themselves eagerly anticipating the FAA's approval even more than the launch date itself. Given the outcomes of both the first and second Starship launches, obtaining a license for a third launch could be even more challenging. The first integrated flight of Starship on April 20, 2023, showcased the rocket's immense power, making it the most powerful rocket ever developed, with the capability to carry 150 tons of payload and generate over 16 million pounds of thrust. 
Despite these impressive specifications, the flight encountered issues that resulted in the vehicle being destroyed less than four minutes after liftoff. The second Starship launch on November 18, 2023, faced its own set of challenges, ending in the booster's destruction following a failed boostback burn and the second stage's explosion due to an unintended oxygen vent fire. The flight achieved notable milestones, including the successful ignition and separation of the Starship from the booster and reaching an altitude where it nearly completed its intended burn before being intentionally destroyed as a safety measure. This flight demonstrated progress, notably reaching outer space, but also underscored the complexities of developing a fully reusable launch system. Given the outcomes in the ongoing FAA and environmental reviews, the path to obtaining a license for a third launch seems very tough. The development of the Starship is part of SpaceX's broader vision for space exploration, which includes missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The rocket's size and power make it a worthy tool for these ambitious goals. Future versions of the Starship are expected to be even larger, enhancing its capabilities for interplanetary travel. Starship's lift capacity of up to 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit in its reusable configuration has spurred competition and inspired other nations to develop similar capabilities, with China being a notable example. China's response to SpaceX's Starship is the Long March 9 rocket, a super heavy lift vehicle under development aiming to match or surpass Starship's payload capacity with up to 150,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. There have been claims accusing China of attempting to copy SpaceX's innovative approach rather than forging a unique path in space technology. However, considering the complexity of the Starship project, it raises the question of whether it's even possible for China to replicate such an advanced system. China's strategy includes making the Long March 9 fully reusable in future versions, aligning with global trends towards sustainable and cost-efficient space travel. The move towards reusability is expected to drastically cut launch costs. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.